gotta get y'all some more food. All right, come on. They are so cute. It's a little Brahma mix, and it is so cute. Hi, little girl. Hi, little girl. Let me snatch one of these babies up. Come on. Come on. Nope. Can't do it. Okay, let's go let the big ones out. Whoa! Whoa! Why are we running? It's been raining so bad here lately. The ground is just like sopping wet. It stinks. Oh, I'm sorry. You were under my foot. Come on, Rose. Ooh, ooh, he's gonna get in trouble. <laughs> she attacked him. She says, you cannot do that. So those right there, this white one and then this black one right here are both boys and my bigger boo does not like them mating for obvious reasons. So they're gonna have to they're gonna have to go if they're gonna act like that. Can't have that. He's coming back. Okay. Let me check on these broody hens because they are still in here and I actually took them out last night. Oh, surprise, surprise, they're in there. We're not doing this, all three broody. Like you cannot take, I, uh, you cannot take up the nest, but that's not gonna stay up, hold on. I found a crawfish. Oh, okay, he ran away. He's a cute little baby, this one's a cute color. This one's really pretty. Hmm. My sweet little naked me. <gasps> Chocolate. Why are you pecking me, mama? Why are you pecking me? I'm not doing nothing to you. I'm not doing nothing to you, Chocolate. This is my little boy's, my five-year-old's favorite little chicky. Doing, Mama? Why are you acting like that to me? Huh? Huh? Why are you acting like that? I'm not doing nothing. She only has one leg. <laughs> it's Bessie. See, there she goes, hobbling. The little brownless. Rock. Oh my gosh, I cannot even walk. I'm gonna step on one of y'all. Watch out. All right. Hey, 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 they're coming, they're coming. Get down, honey. Get a little bit more. Go toss it. Okay, everybody's having a good old time. I'm gonna go put food. Come on, little sister. That's gonna be my garden over there. Come on. Come on, little girl. She can't see very well. Come on. All right. Hello, babies. 
I know, I know. Come here. Why are you in there? Oh, because it's... Okay. Let's see. Oh, look, there's worms. There's worms. Oh, there's two of them. Let's go see if the big ones will eat them. Look what I got. Look. Right there and right there. My chickens don't really eat them. Look how dirty my hands are though. He's a little buff Polish. He's so cute. Broody little hand over there. Always cleaning themselves. Especially this one, Olive. She's always sitting up here. Hello, guys. She's actually an olive egger, but she's mixed with cream leg bar. Um, I mean, they have no relation right here, but she's a cream leg bar in well summer. And then this one's just an Americana, and he's a cream leg bar. Hi, Mama. Hi, baby. Hi, Yeah. Hi, Okay, as of now, I have four hens in this broody break. I keep saying broody baker. Broody breaker. Um, so yeah, there are four of them in there. They do not, I need to replenish this because she's kicked all that other. They do not get any kind of bedding. Um, they are on a hard, flat surface. I need to give them water and then I will feed them twice a day, make sure that they eat and stuff. Um, they were taking up all four of these boxes and I can't have that. This one was waiting a really long time and this one's waiting too. So they are in the broody breaker. So we have Hester, Franklina, Pancake, and that is, I think, Thelma. And you can tell they are so broody. Look at her. She's just so puffed up. So Olive's going in there right now. She's like, mm, I kind of want that middle box. So this is the baby's one, our little sister. Um, it's extremely dirty. But I'm going to scoop all of this out. And normally... I would put it in a wheelbarrow and dump it somewhere, but the ground is so wet and muddy from the rain we have been having here in Southeast Texas. So I'm just gonna rake it onto the ground and swoosh it around over here that way maybe it'll dry up a little bit there we go okay it's all cleaned out i just threw some bedding in there and they'll smush it around and stuff when they get all cozy for tonight whenever you go to change out water and stuff just put in some apple cider vinegar i'm telling y'all it'll be such Oh, it's kind of hard to do that one-handed. It'll make such a difference. Put a good amount. Just put a little dabble compared to this big old gallon bucket. I have a visitor. Little sister. And this is just all the foam coming out because apple cider vinegar does like foam up pr pretty good. 
but it's none of the good stuff coming out, so. Okay, I added that big old jug to this watering system. It has a series of chicken nipples on that thing, so they should be able to reach that very nicely. I hear a lot of commotion over here going on in the main coop in the broody breaker. I don't think they're happy. So I do have them hooked up with some water right here, as y'all can see. She's already drinking it. Cannot believe I have four of them. It's very disappointing, young ladies. All right. Bye, ladies. Bye, Olive.